Dundee United were in control of this match from the outset and even had the luxury of allowing Hearts to go ahead in the fifth minute. Jim Bed finding John Cahoon on the right, the winger losing his marker before curling across into the far post, Kevin Thomas there diving to head home. But a minute later, United were level. Billy McKinley sending the free kick into the box. McPherson clearing his lines, but only as far as Grant Johnson, giving Smith no chance from the edge of the box. And suddenly, it's 1-1. Then Hearts had to make a change. Neil Berry going off injured, replaced by Gary Locke. The rejig unsettled the visitors from the corner kick. Craig Brewster was there to head home, and United now in the lead. And then more misery for Hearts. Christian Daly yet to have his say in the match found Billy McKinley. McKinley then sidestepping Gary Locke and shooting past the keeper. 3-1 to United. Then the under-21 star Daly became the star of the show. He picked up an excellent ball from Billy McKinley, shrugged off the tackle from John Miller, he cut inside and he sent this unstoppable shot past Henry Smith. 4-1 to Dundee United misery for hearts after the interval there was no respite for the visitors McKinley who else found Malpass on the right his swirling cross was met by Daly he headed home from 12 yards manager Ivan Golats for once would be speechless there was a late consolation for hearts Alec Cleland was judged to have handled the Cahoon corner hearts awarded a penalty a decision which the United defence debated vigorously. Nevertheless, the penalty stood. John Robertson stepped forward. The kick was well saved by O'Hanlon, but Kevin Thomas was there to slip the rebound home and make the scoreline 5-2 United.